Welcome to the third activity in our Mini Maker Power Pack Kit series. Today, we're going to learn about how electricity is polarized. By that, we mean that there are positive and negatively charged channels of current. We'll use this knowledge to connect an LED light to a battery and make a custom card that lights up when it's closed. We're going to start by gathering our materials. For this project, we're going to need a half sheet of construction paper, some colored pencils and a regular pencil, three LEDs, one coin cell battery, a pair of scissors, and a bundle of copper tape. To start, we'll need just the construction paper and the colored pencils. Start by folding your construction paper in half. Then, draw your own design on the outside of your card. Keep in mind that we'll be adding LEDs to the outside of our cards, so think about where you want the light to appear as you're drawing. Once you've finished your design, use your regular pencil to mark where you want your LEDs to go. On my card, I marked the center of each flower. Now, grab your three LEDs. Carefully use the metal legs of each LED to puncture the surface of your construction paper. You want to push the LEDs in so that the bulb is sticking out of the front. The metal legs will stick out on the other side. Next, in order to close our card, we need to fold over the metal legs of each LED. Hold on to the LED bulb on the outside of your card, then gently press the metal legs down so that they're flat against the paper. It's easiest to do this if you push right where the metal legs stick out of the paper on the inside. You may also have to play with a fold if your LED bulb is looking a little wonky on the outside. Take your time and be gentle. Next, I made some extra space between the two legs on each bulb. This will make it easier to keep the positive and negative channels of current separate from each other. Go ahead and grab your bundle of copper tape. Now, notice that your LEDs have one metal leg that is longer and one metal leg that is shorter. We learned in our previous activity that the longer leg carries positive current. I spun my LEDs around so that all the positive legs were on one side of the paper and all the negative legs were on the other side. You don't have to do this, but it might make the next step a little easier and neater. Start by using your copper tape to connect each of the positive LED legs. Remember, these are the longer of the two metal legs sticking out of each bulb. Run a line of tape from that long leg towards the bottom left corner of your card.
sometimes I find it can help to peel a small part of the tape and attach it to the LED leg first. Then pull away the remaining paper on the tape and attach the rest of the sticky tape to your card. Copper tape can be tricky to peel in place, so take your time and be patient with yourself. You can always cut more smaller pieces of tape if you have a hard time just using longer ones. Now that we've got our positive LED legs connected to one point on our card, we need to do the same thing with the negative legs. Remember, the negative current runs through the smaller of the metal pieces coming out of each LED bulb. We want to run our negative current towards the other side of our card, so we need to run it up, over, and around to the bottom right corner of the card. Running the tape up and over also allows us to write on the inside of our cards if we want. We want the endpoints of our positive and negative channels of current to match up because we need both to connect with our coin cell battery. It's easier to match up the corners than another random point on our cards. Now you can see that I have both negative and positive channels of current separated and running to opposite corners of the card. I like to pause after this step and make sure that the LED legs are really attached to the copper tape. To do so, I just rub the taped area gently with my fingernail. Now we can test our current. Grab your coin cell battery and place it at the end of your negative line in the bottom right corner of your card. Place the battery so that the plus symbol is facing up. When we close the card, our LED should light up. This happens because the positive current from our battery meets up with our tape channel for the positive current on the other side of the card. The negative current is already running through the underside of our battery. You may notice that one or more of your LEDs don't light up at first. That's okay. This can happen for a bunch of reasons. Check that the copper tape is secure on each of the LED legs. I found here that applying pressure from the front of the card caused my LEDs to light up. This is probably because my copper tape isn't totally secure. Also, you want to make sure that each line of tape is overlapping well and reach the same end point. If you find your LEDs don't turn on at all, there are other ways you can troubleshoot. First, make sure your battery is facing the right direction. Try flipping it if you're not sure. Make sure that your battery touches both the negative and positive tape endpoints. You can always add a little tape to move one of the lines if they don't quite match up. Double check that all of your long, positive LED legs are connected to the same channel. Do the same thing for your shorter, negatively charged legs. You may need to remove some copper tape and reapply it to fix this issue. That's okay. Once you're satisfied with the way your LEDs are lighting up, go ahead and use a small piece of copper tape to fix the battery in the bottom left corner. Remember to sit the battery with the plus symbol facing up.
it may take some time and patience to get your LEDs to light up the way you want. Sometimes projects go the way you want right away, and other times it takes more practice. Be proud of what you've accomplished today. Now, you have your own custom light up card. Share this project with someone you love. Thank you for joining DHF and making with us today.